Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Today is part 4 of my part 6 series of Easy Cavalier with 455 champs. And today we'll be running through 6.1.4, the easy part for completion. Today's global node is Close Encounters. Is If you need, stay near the defender, you regenerate 1% of your health. And if you stay away from the defender, you lose 2% of your health. So this one is all about staying close and making sure that you avoid any damage. I would highly recommend power drainers or uh, somebody who can keep their power in check or bleeders or someone who have regenerative abilities like Wolverine or like X-23 or Blade so that you can finish off this path. This is also one of the shortest paths in uh, X6 so it should be very quick, it's barely 6 fights. Today would be a short video, only about 8 minutes because only 6 fights but still I will leave timestamps in the de description down below so you can skip ahead to any fight you like. As always guys, if you enjoy what you're watching and you have fun with it, make sure to share with your friends, like, comment down below and subscribe, all of that really helps me out a lot. Now the first fight was against Phoenix. Um, I just used Hawkeye to make sure I keep her power in check because she can throw her L1 and then gain a lot of power and go into L2 and then have the Phoenix charges so avoid all of that and I just used Hawkeye. You can use magic whoever you like whoever is uh, more comfortable for you. The alternative champs are mentioned and I like running suicides for, chap uh, for chapter 6 apart from some parts that we will come to when we get to them but I would really recommend unlocking suicide masteries so you can bring this chapter down very quick and very easy. Second fight is against Sabertooth. Um, I have my favorite Archangel there. Uh, he will just melt him down easy. Again, I'm just trying to stay near him if you see. I'm always trying to dash in and be near him so I don't lose 2% of my health. Yeah, sometimes like that you will hit by a special attack, but it's okay. It's only 5 champions on this path, so you can afford to lose 1 or 2. You can use Void for this fight as well, even Blade. You can use Voodoo as well, you can stack up those poison charges. So it's really up to you, you wanna use against Sabertooth. He's, he come, goes down easy, as long as you fight carefully. Next up is uh, will we again nothing too special of the fight the only challenging part is that he will regenerate so you will have to stay near him and then his L1 and L2 are like very close encounter type of uh, type of specials so you just need to be careful on evading them and that's about it other than that you can just bring him down very quick you can use Star Lord as well you can use any tech champion Warlock would be a good option here as well Anything that blocks region, um, Archangel, Warlock, uh, Vision, you can use all of them. Guillotine is the next fight. Again, it's a pretty straightforward and simple fight. Just make sure you keep the distance close to her so you don't lose your HP. You just gain one person per health. I went with Archangel. You could go with anybody. There's a lot of alternative champs I've mentioned. It's not a very difficult path. Uh, just try to use some high damages. You can get it over with quick. So yeah, you just if you're just a bit careful and try to avoid the L2 damage, the SP1 and SP2 damage, then it's a very quick and fast fight.
and the final fight before the boss will be against Hood. Um, again, it has only one node on it that's a close encounter. So same thing. Try to stay with him. Don't go far, otherwise you will start regenerating a lot of health. I am just again using Archangel, so because he just bleeds everybody really quick, and I'm trying to stay nearby. Again, it's uh, also a pretty straightforward fight. Just make sure you don't push him to L2. Because if you push him to L2, then he goes invisible and you will miss hits. And after he comes out of invisibility, he becomes stun immune. So to avoid all of that, just keep him to L1. Or like that, if you have an L3, you can just hit him with an L3. He will be stunned and after that, he can be killed off. And then finally comes the boss fight. It's Loki. So a bit about Loki. Like if he's duped, he gets automatic bar of power till one bar. So even if you don't hit him or you just block him, he will gain power until he gets to one ball of power. And his first special is he will. It's a two hit attack, and the second proje projectile will steal all of your buffs. And it's also unblockable. So just be careful and wary about that. I like pushing him to L2, so I, that's more easily available, and he can dump all all of his power out. But again, it's not a, it's not that difficult to fight. The defensive nodes on them are dulled, so if you have a high critical champ, your uh, crits will be dulled. The uh, limber, you can't stun him that much, and it has enhanced specials, so all the specials are unblockable and uh, force of will and close encounters so again i just use star lord and build up my combo meter and kill him off you can use a lot of different champs you can use blade you can use quick you can use thing all those nice new champs that are coming in i'm just trying to use some old champs to give people options who don't have much big rosters or people who are just coming out of act 5 and they just want to do one completion so this kite is more aimed at them and uh, if you finish your completion with 455 chance then it would be a good time to jump into variants 1, 2, sorry, variants 2, 3 and 4 to get some rank 5 chance before you even try to explore X6.1. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video if you did guys make sure to leave a like let's subscribe comment down below all of that really helps me out a lot and other than that guys have a great day and I'll see you next time